Yep. Who else is there? Who can be a moderator? I think that's about it. So great. So today is Friday. Hope you're looking for a good weekend ahead. Uh, and if you are enjoying your days like weekends, then it's it's another extension that you have. Uh, hope all of you are healthy and fine and have been drawing uh, regularly. Today we are going to learn a very very important lesson. Yeah, and that's called it's called composition. Now this must be a very familiar term to all. Happy Friday. They say, thank God it's Friday. Are we never excited about the weekend ahead? Quote, unquote, weekend. Those who are uh, working from home, yes, of course, it's going to be a weekend for you. Hey, Cecil. <clears throat> Welcome. It must be we hours there really early morning, right? Is the light out? Is the sunlight? Can you see the dawn happening there? What time it is there? My video is not working. Arti, maybe just try refreshing once. Just try refreshing once. Great, it's 10.33 and I think, I think we should get going, yeah? Superb, how many of you are there? 29 of you are there, superb. Now, okay, so before we begin what composition uh, is in terms of uh, drawing and art, let's try and understand, you've heard this term before, right? Composition. You've heard this term on, 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 on what reference? What is composition for you? Can I have some views? Just text it on the chat box. We all will be able to read that. What is composition for you? I'm just putting my question. And you know, some people can answer on what all context you heard this word composition before. Sigda says, and colors. Yes, uh, that's also part of composition. Colors can be learned separately also. Composition means all looks perfect. Okay, that's one way of seeing this. Omni says, finally, after third refresh voice and audio started. Yeah, good. Yusuf says, something that gives visual effect. Right, composition, how we decide to structure what we see in the frame. Nice. Uh, Arti says, could be different or same elements, sizes, colors, looks. Pisha says, combination of things. Yeah. What else? Aesthetically balanced. That's Aditya says. Nice. What else? Shalin says, when I was in first standard, they asked the class to write a composition on cow. <laughs> exactly. So that's that's exactly my question. You heard composition in, you did not force yourself to be, uh, to fit into a drawing class, but just see a composition. Uh, have you heard this term that, you know, uh, that I like, that composition of Bach or uh, A.R. Rahman. Have you heard this term before? The, 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 the lip says, says, arrangement of the elements in a visual arrangement of words and ideas in an essay. Nice. Let's see how beautifully connected both essays and uh, art. Mm, a blend of reality and imagination. That's what love says. Nice. Reality and imagination. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, imagination, why not? There are species also in between in the composition. Oh, Krishna says no, no meaning no on what? Tara also says no, no one need. never heard that. I like that composition. You know, when you hear the music, you never heard this. Or is this no for something else? Okay, Krishna. Krishna has not heard. But yeah, we, so we sometimes see that, that that's, a, that's a nice composition. You know, Composition exists in various forms. Composition uh, uh, is how you play within the moment. So, I have asked you to pick up a cardboard, something like this. It's a corrugated board. It's a small board that I had. You can, you can actually take it out from, supposing you have bought your shoes somewhere. Huh? If there's a shoe packet somewhere, or maybe your old notebook, just pull out uh, the, the the hard cover of it, and that becomes your board here, right? And then you cut a piece. You take a pattern. You take a scale. A steel scale is preferred. This will get damaged otherwise. Uh, or anything that is straight. And then you also have a cutter like this. Uh, if not, then use whatever you have at home. Just try and use this, and make a small window out of this. Huh? Like you cut a window within this. So that becomes a window. For example, I'll show you, show it to you. Like I've taken a slightly larger piece, and that's my window. So whatever you are seeing is the frame. How do I look? <laughs> okay. So this is this is the frame. Okay. But this can be like this. This is what the frame is. This can be like this. Okay. Now this can be like this also. Like why not? That's the frame that you see. Okay. This can be only this. Or this can be also this can be like this also, right? Now this is the frame that you have. My sound is cracking. Okay, I'll just refresh myself. I put Hello sound check. Is my sound better? It's okay. Superb. Thanks for the feedback. Keep giving that feedback. Otherwise, uh, I won't know. Wow. So let me repeat this. Whatever I have said, take a cardboard like this. Yeah. And make a rectangular shape out of this. Take it out with the help of cutter. And uh, something which is straight, like a ruler. Okay. And then you will have something like this. Okay. This is the frame I was talking about. Now, we're going to talk about composition in terms of the see supposing how uh, uh, Sh Shalans had just said in terms of how in the school the teacher asked he write a composition on cow. What is that composition? Composition there's, there's a structure to it. There's an introduction of something. There's an interest that he has to create. Also, there are word limit. That is the frame we're talking about. Everything has to happen within that frame, right? A musician knows. Uh, whether the composition is going to be about a 30 second long or is going to be 30 minutes long, right? So that's the difference. You have that space. Uh, uh, a cinematographer or a photographer knows whether it's going to be very, very close up or it's going to be a long shot like this, a mid shot like this, or even longer. If, it, if, I, if I go further backwards, it will become a very, very long frame, right? Vision is not clear. Tara, just try refreshing. It's showing my internet is okay. Voice is breaking again. Okay, I have muted my. I have unmuted myself again. Let's see, hope it works. There, there are some problems with importers. Next time, probably they will change the platform. Yeah. There are issues here. Uh, we can change the platform in the middle of your just uh, three more sessions left after this, right? Superb. So this we're talking about frame. Now let's understand that there are elements in the frame, right? Supposing if the frame goes like this, what are the elements that you have? You have some text in the backdrop. You have a face of a person, and that's like very close up of, of the face, right? And if, if we change the frame, there's a red color there, there's a yellow color there. So whatever you see, that's in the frame, right? Now we're going to see composition, what composition is. 
Now, very interestingly, composition is a very, it, it's something that you did not keep in, in your mind while you are brainstorming, while you are imagining something, right? It's almost trying to have a conversation with gravity uh, before going for a walk. <laughs> or maybe like learning arithmetic principle uh, and all the formulas before going for a swimming. Okay, You did not know all this. This is something that you must understand this exists, right? And, you know, at the end of it, or maybe while you are composed, while you are doing it, while you are actually photographed, not while we are thinking, but while in the act, these elements are going to play important role in your mind, right? So there, there are certain ways you create, like you said, there there's a basket full of red tomatoes, right? And then suddenly there's a green tomato in that. Yeah? What happens? Like suddenly your first attention will go towards that green tomato. Why? It's the same size. It will taste the same, right? It's kept in the same manner. But there's something unusual about it, right? So what has happened? There's some, some kind of, some element is making that green tomato stand out between the red tomatoes and the other way around. In all green tomatoes, suppose there's a red tomato, right? Even if the element is same, one element is different. There's a color is different, right? Suppose in all red tomatoes and suddenly there's a large tomato, even if that's red, again, that will catch your attention first. Or maybe a tiny one, a cherry tomato. That will also, so, so there, are, there are various ways, you know, something is more important than the other. You, when a musician plays, huh? uh, in Hindi, there's a very beautiful word call, called andaz. Hmm? A musician plays one instrument at a time, mostly, right? But then plays to the larger composition. Yeah. If that one person goes off bit, then the entire composition will fall. Yeah. Also, not just about following the beat, following the beat and playing your own role. This is also knowing how much loud that person is. What is the amount of contribution? Is it's, it's the value of it. Like for example, yellow. How much yellow? What is the intensity of yellow that is required? All those things are needed. The photographer does the composition, thinks about all these things, all the lights that is happening, how much light should fall there, how much would it reflect, what is the skin tone, what is the color, what is the object, product in product photography you see, what is that object, what is the material, how much light will reflect, what is the background that you need. All those questions are going to address through composition, okay. Now I will, uh, today I have not kept the board here, though the board is kept just a meter away from me because we are maintaining uh, social distancing. Or should I call it physical distancing? Okay, so anyway, my voice is breaking again. Govind, should we restart once more? Should I sign out and come back? Is the voice breaking for other people also? Oh my God. It's happening for other people also. Yes, so uh, I want to go out and then come back. Possible, no? Yeah, people, uh, I'm just going out and coming back in 30 seconds. Just hold.
Hey guys, are you able to hear me now? Hello, sound check one, two, three, four. Yay, it worked. Thanks for hanging around and uh, let's begin the session now. So we're talking about composition. If in case you missed, in, in case you missed uh, what I was talking, I was talking every musician in, 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 the, in a choir or uh, in a setup follows the larger composition and therefore some good music comes out of, out of it, right? And uh, every musician plays their own role. So suppose in different design elements or the elements of art, they play their own roles in creating that particular magic or sharing that particular feeling. Okay, great. Now, can it be extended to other things also? Just think about it, all those things. If a person is cooking something, or a chef has items in the kitchen, all the elements are there. That person, in terms of the way they, the person is chopping, you know, cleaning up, uh, sequencing it, heating it up, cooling it down, adding things, there's a sequence. That is also composition, right? So let's expand the meaning of composition. You'll see almost in everything in life, the composition uh, activity is there, right? Sometimes defined, sometimes not. Uh, Govind, can we just switch on the drawing thing so that I can... Yay. So if you are able to, if there's any hmm? screen sharing, I have, I have. screen sharing. Superb. So I hope you can see a white screen in front of you, right? Oh, uh, okay. There's a pencil. It's a nice tool, actually. This is a very nice tool. Okay. So now uh, there are there are there are different uh, uh, things how oh, you know, how, how composition is created, there are different elements of composition. Now let's try and understand how things work, right? Uh, one is to create, one way of going is about to create a focal point, yeah? Like for example, the first example that I talked about that in a basket full of tomatoes, green tomatoes has a red one, yeah? So that becomes a focal point and therefore contrast is created, right? So suppose then you have, oh, why this color? I don't want this color at all. I want black to come. Yes. That's my pencil. Wow. That's a lovely, lovely tool, actually. For the first time, I'm using this. Okay. So, for example, I have to draw. Uh, mm, okay. So, so, so a basket full of one kind of tomatoes. Like, supposing I take red color and I take brush. And I increase the thickness. Oh, so opacity is full. And then value is this. Yeah. So this is red, this is red, this is red. This system is slow. Good. Okay, one of them is green. Anyway, this is this is taking edges. Apologies, guys. I'll just kind of try and this is gone for six. Nothing is working. It's after this one.
कैन आई ड्रॉ हियर अबोव इसके ऊपर स्क्रीन के ऊपर ऐसे ट्राई करें वेयर इज द स्क्रीन नो just hang around guys just give me give me a moment okay i'm back i hope my tools are working okay i'll not play much with this i'm not using pencil hope that will make the software understand me clearly so one way of going about it is your focal point that's i was talking about ki suppose in you have a basket and then you have lots of tomatoes yeah within the basket so if all the tomatoes are suppose in red this is red this is red this is also red this is also red okay and one of them is green so that will automatically take the attention yeah so this is how this thing work that's focal point just remember this not you don't you don't kind of burden yourself in uh, having all the knowing all these rules before you actually draw because these are these are going to uh, kind of uh, might resist you from free thinking yeah so but just know all these things huh? now there's something called isolation now what happens in a class suppose in you know if if all these things are here in one corner if i take suppose in there's a there are, these are the elements at one place yeah These are small elements at one place. Yeah. Suddenly, one element is there. Yeah. So that isolation, what happens is that one automatically gets the focus. Yeah. So that's one way of seeing uh, how 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 isolation works. Yeah. So that's that's another way of going about it. No screen or voice. Other people can hear me and see. Okay. <laughs> Good. nice placement placement is important for example you know how if i have this as my frame yeah and i, I have somebody portrait here yeah that's one way of going about it then i decrease the thickness of it and then like suppose if i have a frame like this yeah and and have somebody portrait like this this is also interesting frame why not this is one way of going about it if suppose this is the eye this is the nose and this is the smiley Yeah, why not? It looks nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little unusual, and that's how things are. So this is like placement is important. Yeah, so that is uh, placement is like supposing you draw a house. Yeah, how do you draw this house? You draw a house somewhere in this corner. That's one way of placing about it, right? Another is like you know if this is too empty there, you draw another one out there somewhere and make a composition. Out. Then have this thing coming out. That's a composition, right? Okay. Yep. So that's that's one way of going about it. What else is there? Now there's something called convergence. Now suppose this is my frame. This is my frame. Yeah. So if I if I have to have a kind of focus on somebody, this suppose there's a human out there, right? There's a human out there standing there. Okay, I want people to see that. Look at that. Then what would happen? Suppose in there's a road going like this. Yeah, there's a road coming in like this. There will be elements which will be leading here, elements that will be leading here. So like all kind of perspective things will happen. So then what will happen is these leading lines will basically give me focus on this person. Yeah, let's see it in a slightly different way. Hmm. Like there's a In films they say enhance the hero, no? So what happens? Alderi rato me sunsan raho pa. Then sahansa ni sota hai na? So that's the sahansa coming in like this. Huh? So you have all this 
So that's a road here. The sun's out there coming in. So you don't know that a lot of emphasis is played in the sands are there. Huh? So this is how it happens. You have importance and different elements leading to that is what importance is. So that is uh, basically convergence. Things converge there and that's how you see. Huh? Something called uh, um, unusual. Now there's another way of attracting atten attention is being unusual. Suppose in, you know, earlier you used to have lots of heads at one place. Yeah, there are, there are so many people and and yeah, everybody is like happy. There's somebody who is all kind of things is happening here. Yeah, look at my drawing. My drawing is so good. Can't beat that. Yeah. So and then suddenly one man is out there is wearing a mask. Okay. Okay. So now that man is wearing mask there. So what is happening is that that unusualness is there. Okay. Now. Supposing I draw a mask, uh, now I start drawing mask. Everybody, I'll make everybody wear this mask now, okay? I'll make everybody wear this mask. Sorry, I'll not make that guy wear a mask. I'll make this one. This guy is wearing mask. This guy is wearing mask. This guy is wearing mask. Who, which one is unusual? Where is your attention going to? Yeah? Your attention now going to this. This is how. Things have changed in the last couple of months only, right? So suddenly, like your attention is going there. Any anybody who is unusual, like that's also like what we saw in uh, uh, tomato case, right? Anybody who is like slightly unusual. For example, everybody is wearing. Uh, okay, so if everybody is driving driving a car, that's I'm one of going. Let, let's let's see this. Okay, Now there is there's a car there, there's a car, there's another car which is there, a lot of car. And suddenly there's one guy with, with, with a bicycle out there, okay? There's a guy who's riding a bicycle here. So then what will happen? The attention will go because this guy is unusual here. Yeah. So this is how it works. Okay, these were like basically primarily how uh, different ways of composition works. Now let's talk about a few things. Uh, there is something called Positive space and there's something called negative space. Now, many of you we have heard, uh, you, have, you know, cricket, no? Cricket, there is something like you have three wickets here. So, that color, okay, it's red wicket. I like this red wicket. So there's a three wicket here. Okay. And then you have a batsman who is like kind of holding bat. Okay. So, this is something like this happens. Now, what is going on? If this is a right, right hand batsman, okay? This guy is a right hand batsman. Now, uh, so there's a wicket keeper there and there's a pitch here, like which has a perspective and the pitch is like somewhere right here. Now, what is going to happen? So, when the ball goes from here or here or here or here or here or here, it's all in front of the bat, right? So, what, what happens? The umpire will not give wide so easily unless it is really wide. It goes outside the bat then, right? But if the ball goes even like an inch next to the leg side, what happens is the umpire usually gives this these balls as wide. This is offside. Sorry, this is this is this is this is this is the this is the on side actually me. Sorry for the terminologies, but I'm just trying to make say this is by. If if something goes from here, it is by. Yeah. So what happens is this side is so for me in composition, what happens is this is the on this is the positive space that I have. Right? This is the positive. So I'll, I'll give you more example. This is the positive space that I have. Here the positive space is not there almost, only this much. Because anything beyond that will be a white ball. And then beyond that is all negative space because this is not very useful. Because when the action is not happening, it is not very useful. Now let's let's get into another example like this. Yeah. Uh, there's something called line of action. Those who are filmmakers would know this. Huh? Something called line of action. But yeah, so now what is happening? Supposing I have to draw a sorry, I'll take another color. So supposing I have to draw a head, which is 
right here. Okay. So this is the kind of head that I have. Yeah, somebody is looking at there, and then probably, yeah, whatever. Huh? Now, and this is my composition. This is my entire frame is my composition. How does it look like? What does it look like? What do you want? <clears throat> it is not a very easy, like in the sense, it's not easy on your eyes. So what you try and do, not good. Yeah, you should say it's not good. Fantastic. So why it is not good? There's nothing wrong. I have, a, I have the entire head here. But person has to be on the right hand side. That's one way of going about it. Maybe I just turn around the frame. If I have the frame, I just shift the frame a bit. Yeah. Yeah, imbalance. Good. All those words are coming out. Now, where is the positive space? My positive space is here. No. Like the eye, in front of the eyes, where I believe he's going to talk or he's going to see things, that is where I am having the or the whole positive space. Yeah. This is one way of going about looking at positive space and negative space. I'll come to that. Sometimes in absence of an element is also called negative space. If a person is in here, if a person is here somewhere, and uh, so that's the kind of little composition that look at this person somewhere here. Now I have a lot of kind of space here. Sorry, that's the green color I have to put. So a lot of action will happen in front. If person turns around, action will happen this side. Otherwise, action is not happening this side. So you have to have more space this side in front. Just remember this. If, a, if you're drawing a car, suppose in uh, black, drawing a car or a bike. So if your car, it's, it's always better to keep the front of the car more space in front of the car rather than back of the car. Why? Because people, the car tendency of the car will be to move front, right? You keep it in the middle, there'll be little kind of, it's also composition. There's nothing right, no composition. Everything is a composition, but not a good composition. Yeah? That's how things happen. I've talked about all this, what else I'm missing. Now, there are some principles of design that you have to talk about. There's something called balance. A balance is an element which is basically there's a frame like this. Uh, we are all dealing with a frame. Huh? It's as simple as when you have something like this, right? You have something here, huh? and you have a red wall here. Is it balanced? I have to say this. Is is this is the frame balanced? No, the frame is not valid. It doesn't look very comfortable on your eyes, right? Now, what you do is you take out few other elements, like supposing you take the green color or some other color. Huh? And supposing I make two elements like this, or three elements like this. Yeah. Sorry. I can't change the color now. Again, the problem has started. Anyway, so okay. So this is one way of going about looking at composition. For example, if I have an element, uh, uh, suppose if I have element like one bird here, another bird here, yeah, another bird here, the three birds going. Composition is not so balanced. What I do is I kind of try and draw a few birds here. Which is like smaller boards, yeah, it gets balanced. Or maybe one here. Look at this. Even the sizes are different, but the frame is balanced. Same type, whenever you do a composition, think about all these elements. Yeah. Now balance. We've talked about what? Balance. Now let's talk about proportion. Now, this is the first time. This is almost the session the ABCD workshop is going to, and I'm for the first time I'm using this word called proportion. Proportion is important like you know what is the size of the things that you have in the place right proportion is like when your chef is doing the correct amount a little extra salt will make the whole dish go 
kind of uh, destroy the entire desk, right? All these efforts. So all these elements has to be put in correct proportions to make it a desk, right? So, uh, so you decide like in what kind of proportion. There, there's something called also rule of third that, okay, that, that will also make you actually uh, you have to learn and then forget it. So what happens is the most interesting part of an of a frame did not be at the center. Yeah. I can't change the color. Okay, so it, it basically usually is the most interesting part of the element is this. There's a focal point. And this focal point need not be more than three. Like one focal point, fantastic. Two fo focal points, still okay. Three maximum, right? Like the interest of element that you have, supposing a person sitting or it's standing or whatever, like gossiping or having chai. I have one chai cup here, which is like interesting. I have my head here, right, which is interesting. I have a nice... Uh, chair here, whatever. Anyway, so 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 this is how things happen. Okay, now what what happens? What talk about movement? Now that is also another thing. Where 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 things are moving? I've talked about it a bit. Like when you have a, a kind of a composition with supposing a thief and uh, there's a thief running away from the police. Yeah. There's a danda here. And the police is always fatter, no? <laughs> Sorry, that's that doesn't work. One second. There's something wrong with the composition. The danda will never be like that. Okay, so that's okay. So then I will go there. Anyway, so so that's the <laughs> so that's that's the movement happening from where to where movement is happening. It's happening here. So good composition would be to have some space here. Right, that's that's a good composition. Or maybe some space on top because there's a police car under there. There has to be some room here also, right? So the movement is happening this way. We don't need space here at all. So good compositions they don't leave space where there's offsite, exactly like the cricket. Huh? Okay, now these are the elements that you have to think about. I'm going to write more elements. This you have to learn from. Uh, you know, there are several resource material. This will take you some time. It's a Three to four are kind of a learning that you'll have. There's something. So the first thing that we talked about is one second. Thickness. First thing we talked about is balance. Okay. The, these are design elements which is works in art. Then second thing we talked about is proportions. Yeah. Now next is movement. There are eight of them, movement. So we have talked till movement now, then something called rhythm. There's something called harmony. Harmony. Yeah, then we have something called unity. What is unity? It's not the unity that we actually see. It's like same, similar, Elements uh, uh, multiplied many times, or maybe like the, the same elements distributed in different parts, but you see a kind of rhythm there. That's that's one way of looking at unity. And then you have variety. Yeah, these are the things. Now, uh, there's something also called emphasis that we talked about. And emphasis can also be understood as contrast. Some people co consider contrast as a emphasis. Sorry, sorry, this is slightly awkward that I'm writing, but you will be able to. Okay, you need anything, just look on YouTube. If you have any specific questions, you write. Yeah, this is just for you to know, by the way, if, if, because the concepts are quite blurred, even for me, I'm not going to actually talk about this. This is only for you to know and you for you to look at what all you should be 
kind of learning, right? What is the seventh one? So either this uh, uh, emphasis, emphasis, variety, contrast. Now emphasis and contrast are quite similar. I don't know which one was the seventh one. But... Okay, so that's about it. We've learned composition already. Now can we be back? What else is there? Okay. Can I close this? Don't save. Yay. I'm back. There are a few police officers also in the class. Yeah, I've actually logged them out there. You won't be able to see them. Okay. Questions? Questions, thoughts? No questions, no thoughts. Of course, this is applies to photography. In anything which is visual, it applies. All these things applies. Also, space, an element of composition. Yes, of course. Suhani is asking, what is our homework? First thing, you continue whatever all things that you have been doing, plus all the new things that I've touched upon or maybe just introduced to you. Dig out more. When you dig out more, you have internet connection and therefore you dig out more, you'll have questions. And then probably I'll be able to kind of, uh, if you have any specific queries, I'll be answering that. Anam says, thank you for explaining, sir. I was confused with those things and now it's clarified. Thank you. No, YouTube channel name is not ABC do with Praveen. No, it's, it's, it's I think the IFM uh, business school page. IFM business school page and all, I think all 19 classes are there. Only, huh? 20 class, 20 sessions are already there. Yeah, today is 21st session. And by evening, I think today's session will also be up. How do we apply all this with the different perspectives? So perspective is a different learning, right? You know, for example, these leading lines, huh? uh, emphasis, all those things, perspective always is there. Now, they're not different uh, books altogether. They're, they're, they're a different paragraph of the same chapter, right? Uh, No, uh, Anshu, it's not that you have to use this with perspective drawings, but you can. Why not? Just try how to go about it. Whenever you do perspective, I hope all of you have this frame. Huh? Such a frame. This will actually help. See, look at look at how I'm seeing this. If I'm seeing that there are elements, I'm seeing the, the lines coming out. The vanishing point is definitely not on the uh, uh, frame. It's much lower than the frame. But I can see those lines leading to that, right? This is important. If I look at something which is straight, I, I, I actually see one point perspective here. But if, if I actually turn around, go there, I actually see, what do I see? I see two point perspective there. All those things you have to turn around. The perspective is one thing. Composition is another. OK. Uh, Sabrina says, I have a question regarding the one and two point perspective while practicing. I was unsure is the main rule. If you look at one wall, one perspective, but if you have a corner to yes, 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 yes. Sabrina, you're absolutely right. Just now what I showed. Huh? If you look at wall, one wall, one surface or one side, you always will get one point perspective within the frame, but then if there's no frame, then there will be difficulty because then suddenly you start, your head will turn, you start looking at the corner also, and then you'll get confused, right? So hold the frame and say, I am going to draw only this much. Yeah, I'm going to look at only this much, right? The eyes, human have very curious eyes, no? So we keep looking here and there. 
uh, when I searched ABCD with Pravin, I could refer to the previous sessions. Fantastic. That's good, Tara. That, that means the hashtag is working. Please show some of your drawings. Replay, you want to see my drawings? Can we keep that for tomorrow's class? I will show my drawings. Yeah. I have to figure out where it is kept. I will download those. I will, I'm going to share it to you. Mm, but please, you know, I actually, you know, don't believe in doing that. That's what is happening. Many times I am uh, kind of giving a demo just for you to see. Uh, most of you people actually draw exactly the same and send it back to me, right? Nothing wrong in that. But I'm saying, but that is not what I am expecting out of you. I'm expecting to go beyond. Just learn that and then do on your own. Yeah. And if you're taking screenshot, that is for your own reference, not to copy from there. So almost eight out of 10 uh, uh, things that I'm receiving uh, from you are basically just copy of whatever I have present. This is only demonstration. This is not the drawing. All of us see things differently. I want you to practice from your own eyes. Yeah. Uh, so my drawing should be just like kind of it should be it should not be the drawing. It is like one person's way of seeing it in a particular brief in a particular situation. Anshu says the vanishing point would be above the frame or below where which frame. It depends no where you want to keep suppose in I'm keeping my frame like this if I, if I have a frame like this. But the vanishing point will always be at my eye level, so it will be below the frame, it is not in the frame, right? But if I'm holding my frame like this, my vanishing point is at here only, so it is out of the frame, as simple as that. Yeah, hope I'm able to answer that. As long as it is inspiration, fantastic. Uh, this was a thought, so honey, but I say, okay. Great. So, so you vanishing your line doesn't change. Your composition changes. Your H line stays with you forever. That's your eye level. Right? Your eye level is at your eye level only. It's nobody else's eye level. So, therefore, the the pers perspective uh, from which you are looking at the world is unique, and nobody else can actually look from your eyes. Yeah, at the max, you can click a picture and show people, okay, this is how I looked. But that's about it. Yeah. I think we are done. It's 11.20 almost. And I think uh, we should be done with today. Uh, so good, guys. I uh, also want to you to share more work of yours with me and also with others. We're not taking any new uh, people right now. Uh, I think 41 people are here and I think these are the regular ones who attend all the sessions. I'm extremely pleased that you have attended so many sessions with me. Sunday, no, there's no class on Sunday. So we are having, we are only three classes left. Monday, Wednesday and the Fridays we are ending it. Yeah, we're going to have a final session on Friday. So oh, there's the only way of enjoying this is if you're doing like 15 20 30 drawings a day you'll have a moment now you know, already know the basics of it now don't uh, kind of wait for to know more in the next classes because all i'm going to say is refresh those and make you practice uh, i'm not going to make things complex for you you know, even the composition today as i said you know if you think about composition uh, before you're drawing it it's not a good idea to do that yeah have some idea of composition. Okay, this is how I want to write about cow, or this is how I'm going to cook today. But while cooking, you'll have that whole proportions, uh, rhythm, and everything coming together automatically to you. Yeah. Super. Thanks for the class. I missed Wednesday, but watched it on YouTube. I'll send drawings on the next no class tomorrow. Yes, next class is on Monday. <laughs> okay. Tomorrow is Minakshi's birthday. Minakshi, a very, very happy birthday in advance from all of us. Uh, from the ABCD family. Should we call it ABCD family? Yeah. And from the entire Vijayabhumi University and especially Vijayabhumi School of Design family. Take care. 
Bye, guys. Okay, the messages are still coming. Let me...